Hello students, after your CET results, process for engineering admissions will start. Pehle to aapka CAT registration shuru hoga. You need to fill in your personal details, then upload documents, get them verified. To ye CAT registration hone ke baad. After the last date of CAT registration, then you will be uh, notified that you have to log in to check your state level merit number. Uske baad, entire seat matrix will be displayed and then cap rounds will start. Ye jo cap round hoga, that is the time you need to fill in your options. To ye option kya hota hai? See, it's a unique combination of the engineering college you want to opt, which region the college is in, which branch of engineering you want to study, uh, what is the shift of the college, which type of engineering seat you are uh, going to opt. So it's a unique combination in general of the college and the branch, but it's a nine-digit code. It means when you fill your option form, what you will see on the screen is a series of nine-digit codes. तो ये कोड क्या होता है? देखो, जब first cap शुरू होगा and you are going to opt for a college of your preference. Say for example, Vidyalankar Institute of Technology which is in Mumbai region. So when you select the college name Vidyalankar Institute of Technology, four digit code will get fetched. That is 3139. That is for Vidyalankar Institute. You don't have to buy hard any codes. What I mean is when you select a college of your choice, what gets fetched is the code. Now the branch of engineering you want to opt, say computer engineering, three digit code. So next three digits of the option that is for the course or the branch of engineering. So two, four, five computer engineering. Then comes the digit that is for the shift of the college. So now all colleges run in a general shift. So by default, that digit will be one. And the last digit is for the type of seat. Zero means general seat. And one means TFWS, tuition fee waiver scheme seat. If student opt for TFWS and if gets allotted that seat for that college and the branch means the tuition fee for the candidate gets waived off. So, yeah, TFWS ke liye kaun eligible hota hai? It is on the basis of income of the, uh, I mean family income of the student. So, candidate whose family income is less than 8 lakhs per annum, such candidates can opt for TFWS. Lekin, jinko ye TFWS ke liye opt karna hai, to aapko Jab cap registration hota hai, tabhi income certificate upload karna hoga. Only such eligible candidates will also get along with state level merit number, even TFWS merit number. So only these eligible candidates can opt for TFWS. Otherwise, for all other students, the last digit will be zero, means you are going for a general seat. So when you... Fill in your options. Actually, what you will see on the screen is a series of nine digit codes. Say, for example, 31392410 means Mumbai region with Dalankar Institute of Technology, Computer Engineering, General Shift, General Seat. Abhi aap vahi college mein, agar aapko dusra koi branch opt karna hai, Jaise telecommunication engineering. So college code will remain same. 3139. Okay, with Dalankar Institute of Technology. But you want to opt for telecommunication engineering. So 372, that's the code for telecommunication engineering. General shift, general seat. You want to opt for the same branch, but say in other college. So the college code will change to 3142, 37210. In CAP, when you participate, you can opt for any college in the state. Jaise agar koi student ko, uh, Mumbai ke student ko samjho koi Puna ka college opt karna hai. So, since I have uh, mentioned here, the first digit is for the region. So, yani Pune colleges will start with a digit 6. Jaise Mumbai colleges start with a digit 3. So, some college in Pune, telecommunication, general shift, general seat. 
A student who is eligible for TFWS will have, say, 3139372 general shift and applying for the seat under TFWS. So, in short, option is a unique combination of the college you want to opt and the branch of engineering you want to study. Okay? So, this option form, when you have to fill it, you have to fill it. So, what do you have to do? You need to identify branches of your interest and you want to list down colleges that are acceptable to you and give preferences of these college course combinations. Okay? So, this is the bad. It is your choice that how you need to fill in your options. There are different ways. Dekho, bacho, ye aapka option form hai. Aapke preferences hai. So, nobody else can fill option form for you. You have to decide that what are my priorities? What are my preferences? Samjho, koi student ko lagta hai ki nahi, mujhe to yahi college se, a particular college se engineering karni hai. Or, I'm okay with the branches like, for example, Computer Engineering, Information Technology, Electronics and Telecommunication Engineering, Electronics and Computer Science Engineering, because in this branch, mein, there is no much difference. But I would like to get into College A. Otherwise, my next preferences would be College B, because that is the next uh, you know, choice of my college with the same set of branches. Means, arrangement of options here you could see is done by the candidate somewhat college-wise. Koi student ko lagta hai nahi, mujhe to computer engineering hi karna hai. So his preferences could be college A computers, college B computers, C, D, E. But you cannot just go to any XYZ college. You need to look in for different factors when you have to make list of acceptable colleges to you. Now, computer engineering, information technology, as such, there is no difference. So, the choice for the student could be then same, I mean, same set of colleges like A, B, C, D, E, but information technology. So, here you could see the options are arranged branch-wise. Okay, it's your choice. We always recommend that you should give preferences on the basis of merit of the option. What I mean merit of the option is... If a candidate is interested in computer engineering, college A is a good college, say for example, government college. College B is unaided college, but it is a very good college. So the choice could be computer engineering with college A, my preference first, then computer engineering with college B. Now I'm okay with government college, say for example, college A. With information technology, that could be my third choice because Computer and information technology, as such, there is no difference in the branch. If not, means my merit is not allowing me, then my next preference would be college C, which is again equally good with computers, otherwise IT with college B. That is what I mean by merit of the option. So, this is the way you are required to fill in your option form. Okay, so at this stage, what you need to do is first on paper write down the list of colleges, the list of branches you are interested in and prepare your option list. So when actual cap round one will start, you have to just do data entry. That should not be the time you start thinking that, okay, what should be my first preference? What should be my second preference, right? So you have good time in hand to prepare your option for, okay? Make sure you get seat allotted in a very first cap round because all subsequent cap rounds are actually vacancy rounds. Abhi, first round mein hi, kaise allotment milega, ye hum aage ke humare videos mein dekhenge, okay? So, students, Keep watching our videos, do subscribe to our channel.